everyone, how's it going? So in case you missed it, I'm making a video every day in the month of November and today I wanted to talk to you about my six big differences between biomedical science and medicine. In case you're new here, just a little bit of an introduction, I am currently a third year graduate entry medicine student at the University of Birmingham, so I'm currently studying medicine. But prior to starting medicine, I studied a biomedical science course at the University of Newcastle. So a question that I do get asked quite often is what are the differences between the two courses? How do they differ in terms of their content, in terms of their structure, in terms of assessments, and all of those wonderful things. So I thought for today's video I will go through six of the biggest points that have stood out to me. Obviously there are plenty of differences and similarities and if I haven't mentioned something in this video then by all means leave it below and let me know if you also know of any differences or similarities between the two courses. Alright so to start off with a little bit of a general background, Biomedical Science is essentially a course that revolves more around biology and science when it comes to the study of health and the study of disease. You can think about it as a way, I suppose, of biological research that is done in order to improve medicine and in order for medicine to have its backbone, I suppose. And what I mean by that is that the focus of biomedical science in many instances revolves around scientific discovery, doing drug discovery, the design and testing of new equipment, understanding pathways and molecules and how we lead to certain diseases, and what are some of the methods that can be used to treat those diseases. Generally I would say it's a bit more focused on discovery and research and in a lot of ways it underlies medical practice. Historically it was also the job of a physician to do the research, to do the innovating, but as we have advanced more and more the whole science and biological research has seemed to become its own special branch that you don't necessarily have to be a physician treating patients in order for you to go into that field. But historically if you think about like the renaissance times you would have the doctors who are treating the patients but are also doing dissections and cadaver analysis and trying to discover things as they also treat their patients and medicine can be thought of as I suppose the application of that science within a clinical setting so if you study medicine you are essentially training to become a doctor or a physician and in that sense you are the one who's going to be responsible for the health of an individual or a community of individuals a lot of people like to think about medicine as the combination of art and science the art of dealing with individuals and people and using that science in order to treat disease or prevent disease so again typically the job of a physician is to be able to assess an individual, to be able to look for diagnoses of conditions, to be able to plan their management and how they're going to be treated, administer medications or interventions, and also just follow the patients up to make sure that as well as their physical health, their mental and emotional health is also looked after as well. So really briefly, biomedical science is going to typically focus on the science and the discovery and the research whereas medicine is going to focus on management of patients, treatment of patients and the medications and interventions provided in order to contribute to their overall care. Alright, so with those definitions out of the way, as somebody who has studied both courses, or I suppose I'm studying medicine now and have studied biomed, let's talk about these six differences and similarities. So when it comes to general content of the course, I would say both medicine and biomedical sciences have a lot of overlapping content. Generally, the scientific basis will be the same, and this is the case in certain universities where students who are studying medicine and students who are studying biomedical sciences often have the first year together. And in this first year, the fundamental science is pretty much the same. So you will learn everything from cells, to pathways, to certain mo molecules, to some of the biochemical aspects, to certain life cycles, to certain pathologies. You will learn all of these as a basis together. But the differences will start to arise when the medical students will tend to more move more towards a patient-centered focus, whereas with biomed you tend to typically go into more depth about some of those scientific principles. So to give you an example based on my own experience, I remember when I was studying biomed, one thing that I would say is that we would learn everything in much much more depth than we are learning currently in medicine. But the areas that we would go into depth in would be very very focused. So just a basic example, in both medicine and biomed we would learn about a number of cancer pathways but I remember in biomed we would go far more in depth in all of the little molecules and all of the signaling pathways and we would kind of expand 
much wider and go into details that way. Whereas in medicine, we may learn about the same cancer pathways, but then we may start asking the questions of, okay, so we know this cancer pathway, how does it affect our patient? What can we do when a patient comes in that has a certain aberration in their cellular pathways? What can we do with that? So I guess to summarize, with biomed, you tend to be more focused and you go into more detail. The second thing is the practical aspect when it comes to medicine and biomedical science. Now obviously, as you may have imagined, with medicine there is a lot more of a hands-on approach. So pretty much from first year, especially my course, we were able to visit GPs and that's general practitioners and be able to sit in consultations and talk to patients. And in a lot of cases, we would have started learning certain skills like how to give injections or for example, how to examine patients and listen to their chests using a stethoscope or feeling their abdomens for any abnormalities. That's not to say though that biomed doesn't have its own practical aspects too. I remember as part of some of our practicals in biomed we learned how to use an ECG. Now an ECG is something that you will get taught in medicine and it's something that you, you that you use frequently on the wards. But this is something that we were taught in biomed. I think in biomed we also learned a number of other practical skills. But a lot of those practical skills tended to be more towards the lab and research side. So for example, we learned how to culture bacteria and how to take swabs from people's mouths or nose. And obviously, as I said, we learned a number of lab skills. But I do have to say this for anybody who's interested in biomed but not necessarily learning lab skills. You can get away with studying biomedical science and not doing any lab-based research. So there's a lot of written projects that you can do, there's a lot of epidemiological or bioinformatics research that you can do which doesn't involve any practical aspects. So if you're not a fan of the practical stuff, it's okay. You can do biomed and not have to do any of that or kind of do the minimal amount. Whereas with medicine, a lot more is just hands-on and practical. The third thing is the length of the study. So in the majority of cases, assuming you do a standard Bachelor of Science undergraduate degree, your degree will be three years. So in biomedical science, typically you will finish in three years, whereas in medicine, you will finish in five. And that's not necessarily because there's more content to learn in medicine, but because of the reasons that I said, with medicine, there's a lot more of a practical aspect. So you need to get comfortable being on the wards and talking to patients and doing examinations. And all of these will take extra amount of time for you to be able to not only get the scientific content, but to also learn how to practically apply it in a clinical setting. Number four, and again this is something that I've very much noticed since starting medicine, that medicine seems to be much more of a team sport. Not just in terms of the career, but also in terms of the course. So whereas my individual experience in biomed tended to be a lot more individual, in the sense that the majority of our teaching was lecture based or seminar based, with medicine we tend to do a lot more that involves working together and collaborating as groups and as teams. Don't get me wrong, there was certainly an element of teamwork within biomedical science so we did often have projects that we would have to work together on so there was an element of team working there but I would say generally from my own personal experience you do have to work together with your friends with your colleagues because that will help you with your learning so just to give you an example something that I like to do with some of my friends and some of the people who are in my firm we tend to book rooms together and practice examination skills or when we are on the wards, we will go up to patients, maybe in pairs or in threes, and we will practice taking a history from a patient, and that essentially means asking the patient, why have you come in? What medical conditions do you have? What medications are you taking, etc. So we would do that in a group, and then later we would present that information back to each other and get feedback. And that is an example of something that is very, very beneficial on medicine or on a medical course. Whereas in biomed, you can typically get away with just attending your lectures, attending your seminars, and you can get away more with working on an individual basis. Which one you choose and which one you prefer is to your discretion, for the most part. The next thing, and oh my goodness, this caught me off guard, is that biomedical science is generally a lot more structured in terms of its teaching and learning. And what I mean by this is that you will have a timetable that is generally quite set. You will know which lectures you have, you will know what's in your specifications for the year, you will know what seminars you have. All of that will be timetabled in and it doesn't really change unless, for example, there is a change in who may be available to teach you or something like that. But generally it's quite set. Medicine, on the other hand, is a whole different universe of learning. What I mean by this is that while we do get certain lectures and while we do get certain set 
teaching allocations, a lot of medicine is just finding opportunities to learn. And especially when you get onto the clinical years, which is where I am now, and you are learning in the hospital wards, you will end up learning very, very different things to your friends and to your colleagues. For example, if I am on a ward, I can go up to one junior doctor and ask for some cardiology teaching. Now, on that occasion, they may teach me about heart valves. Now, a friend of mine who may be in a different hospital might do the exact same thing to a different junior doctor, and that junior doctor will start teaching them about cardiomyopathies. Now, generally, we do have a specification of all of the things that we need to cover by the end of the year, but you do end up learning different things at different times, and you just have to kind of understand that this is part of the process and just keep going. But whenever I speak about this to a lot of the people who are either on my course or who I'm working with in the hospital, they also find it quite disconcerting that you're kind of like, I don't know if I know enough because I don't know if I've been taught what I need to know. But I think that's just kind of the art of medicine. Though I will say that this was never an issue in biomed because you knew exactly what you were going to learn, you knew all of the content was going to be in the lectures for you, and any additional research that you have to do yourself as part of a variety of projects or a variety of modules would typically be based on research papers. And generally you seem to be on a similar level to the rest of your colleagues and friends. But yeah, that's something I'm still getting used to now myself. And number six, Last but not least, one of the other biggest differences that I personally noticed is that in medicine you get taught by a much wider range of individuals. So there's a lot of emphasis in medicine on multidisciplinary disciplinary teams. And what that means is that lots of healthcare professionals from various different disciplines, be it nursing or physiotherapy or occupational therapy or surgical or medical or dietitians or scientists or academic fellows, you get teaching from all of these individuals. You even get teaching from students who are one or two years above you and you get teaching from the juniors all the way up to the consultants. And this varied level of teaching is very rich, I want to say, and it's wonderful to be able to learn not only the practical aspects and the science but also just the experience of all of these individuals and how they contribute to the health of their patient. On a biomedical science course, while you do still get teaching from a range of these individuals, because a lot of the teaching is more lecture based, you tend to have a higher proportion of academics and scientists who will come on and give you that teaching. So that's another big difference that I've noticed. And there you have it. So those were the six biggest key differences that I've experienced in my journey between medicine and biomed. If I've missed anything, let me know below because I'd love to hear what your experience has been like. But other than that, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you in tomorrow's video.